sent emails that were like, how dare you treat my white child differently? I'm like, mm, was that hard for you? Like, um, Hold on. It's not necessarily that it was hard for them. Maybe they just don't want their son or daughter to learn those types of concepts in kindergarten. Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. In today's episode, I'll be reacting to a libs of TikTok video that shows a Massachusetts kindergarten teacher bragging about teaching five-year-olds white privilege and then mocking parents who are upset that their son or daughter was taught this type of stuff inside the classroom. Now, many of you may or may not know, but I'm a high school teacher myself. I've taught all the way from sixth grade to 12th grade. So I will be giving my opinion on what I think about all this. And as always, if you wanna support us here at the Bald Brad Show or heck, support a conservative, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. And with that being said, let's jump into the clip. So this is like a small story mixed with like what we need. Um, last year I taught entirely remotely, which means all of the parents got to hear all of my teaching, um, which um, is very exciting. The other part is that I was teaching remote kindergarten, which is hilarious, by the way. Everyone should try it. Um, and so I did a lesson on... Um, white privilege, essentially. I talked about how some people are treated differently based on what they look like, and all the parents heard it. And I received some emails that were like, wow, that was a really powerful lesson. Um, thank you for, for starting that conversation. And then I received some emails that were like, how dare you treat my white child differently? I'm like, mm, was that hard for you? Like, um, Hold on. It's not necessarily that it was hard for them. Maybe they just don't want their son or daughter to learn those types of concepts in kindergarten but you know maybe i'm the crazy one folks i don't agree with this stuff this stuff is nuts but it's not going to stop them from teaching it so i think some of the things we need are we need either talking points for families because if we're going to talk to kids about this this is really hard for parents to hear um, especially parents who may unknowingly lead very privileged lives and mm -hmm don't know how to have that conversation without feeling like they have done something wrong. It's about their parenting, but like we need talking points. We need ways to support them. We need to know that we are going to get support from our administration when we have these challenging conversations. And we as teachers need to not feel the weight of teaching these extremely large concepts and feeling like we don't have the ability to do so because we don't know where we can be silenced or should we be silenced. There's a lot. That's a big question. So I'm going to stop, but it's a lot there. Extremely large, challenging concepts. Well, if they are that, then why would you be teaching them to kindergartners or five-year-olds when you know that they're going to have a tough time conceptualizing this because their frontal lobes are not even close to being fully developed, like 20 years out? Even high school students would have a tough time fully grasping the abstract idea that somebody can transition from male to female or white privilege, that people are being given certain advances based on the color of their skin. Look, at, again, it depends on the development of the brain and kindergarten is nowhere near to be having this type of conversation with an adult and nor should they. And let's get down to the core of this, folks. As far as I'm aware of, as a teacher, None of this stuff is in the standards that should be taught in the classroom by a teacher. Now, somebody link me down below. This person's from Massachusetts. I don't know if they're with Common Core or not. I'm with California Common Core Standards. I am unaware of in multi-subject or kindergartners that this type of stuff called white privilege is something that needs to be taught by the standards in the classroom. I don't agree with this. I think it's wrong. And I want to point out, there's a lot of good teachers out there that are not teaching your son or daughter this type of stuff in the classroom. I'm one of them. I'm not there to teach them about white privilege. One, I don't agree with it. Two, it's not in my subject category. And I don't know a subject category that this would apply to. Maybe history still should not be taught in the classroom. And I don't understand. And this is something I'm still trying to grasp and kind of formulate in my mind. I don't understand why these LGBTQ teachers activists, maybe some would call them, think it's okay to be having these types of conversations in the classroom at all. I mean, I don't understand why you put yourself in that situation to stray outside of your standards and why that'd be acceptable. Like we don't have free speech inside the classroom as teachers. I'm bound by my standards and I'm making sure that I, that I talk about those standards. I teach those standards and I do the best of my ability to 
ultimately instruct those standards within my students so they can be tested on it and score well. And honestly, I don't even know where you get the free time like this teacher has to be teaching these types of things inside the classroom because there's so many standards that need to be met and taught and making sure that your students master those concepts that you don't really have a lot of free time to be having even like friendly conversation in the classroom. Sometimes you do, you'll have an offhand conversation when you're walking around trying to help students out, they'll ask you how your day was, those types of things. But this stuff's nuts, folks. And I've been talking about this for almost three years now. This has been going on for quite some time. I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong. And frankly, I know all my subscribers know that I think this is wrong as well. But for those that are new to the show, Again, folks, know that there's good teachers out there that aren't teaching your son or daughter this stuff, that are sticking to the manual, sticking by the book. And it doesn't mean that I would be disrespectful to any students. It doesn't mean that I would treat them unequally or anything like that. Even if somebody is trans or they're gay or queer, or whatever it may be, you know, I'm still going to teach them the math. I'm still going to teach. I'm still going to uh, treat them with the utmost respect and be kind to them. I want them to score well, but that is not a conversation for me to have in the classroom. They're not my son or daughter. I don't know what type of morality their parents want to inculcate within their son or daughter. So I'm going to stay away from that. Again, like the basic things of being kind and respectful to one another, I think is all agreed upon by everybody. But look, I'm not there to talk about gender identity. I'm there not talk. I'm not there to talk about hormone enhancers, puberty block, nothing like that. I'm a teacher. I'm there to teach mathematics. And that is it. I am not teaching you nothing else. Nor am I going to go beyond that, meaning go beyond my standards or go less than my standards. I am there to teach you whatever the state wants me to. If this is in the state standards, a little bit of a different story, folks. We can't be targeting a teacher at that point. We got to be targeting the state because they're the ones that put that in there. But like I said, I don't think it's in the standards. This should not be taught to kindergartners. This should not be taught to, frankly, anybody in the school system. I think white privilege is wrong. I don't agree with it. I don't think white privilege is a real thing, but that's not going to stop these leftists, these activists from infiltrating our education system and trying to indoctrinate your kids, which is why a lot of these students think socialism is okay. Some teachers are teaching communism works, communism is great. Uh, they'll kind of cite Karl's Mar Karl Marx on certain things. Folks, what's going on inside the classroom is absolutely wild. And I wanna to continue to do more stories like this. Again, I know a lot of you know my opinions, but I think it's important to keep highlighting these types of things like Libs of TikTok is so that we can bring awareness to what's going on in our school districts. It's not just this, this, this stuff that's happening here with teachers doing this stuff. Teachers are being violently attacked. We did a conversation with Clark County School District having over 1,300 arrests and citation. Yes, 1,300 arrests and citations going to get students for attacking teachers. This is an epidemic that's going across the United States. Our education system is in shambles and we need to fix it. There's a lot of people that care about the American children. There's a lot of people that want to help them and educate them so they can have prosperous and beautiful lives. Not everybody wants to do this stuff in the classroom. As always, folks, let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Share this link with your friends and family all over social media. And folks, I will see you later today here on The Mall Brat Show.